What's up fishing peeps? Today we're gonna do a little fishing, but first we're gonna do a little bit of a kayak review, so stick around. Well guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out, keep making delicious content like this for you guys. First is gonna be this huge front storage compartment. It's, uh, it's extremely big. Uh, the enti entire inside is hollowed out. You could probably fit a whole person in here if you wanted to. So a little more realistically, uh, you could fit a whole lot of extra tackle up here. Uh, some, some snacks, maybe a little lunch box, your dry bag, all that fun stuff you could fit up here. I really do day fishing and don't really do a whole lot of overnighting. So you're not gonna see me put a tent or anything in here. But from time to time, you definitely will see me put some tackle in here. The only real negative about this thing is you really can't get to it while you're on the water. You have to land your boat to get to the front storage compartment. But really, if you're digging in here, you probably want to be on land anyways. Well, while we're up here, let's talk about uh, the pull-up strap to help pull yourself up uh, where you're standing. Um, it looks okay. I've never really used it. I'm not really brave enough to stand in a kayak, mostly because I don't want to fall over with all my electronics hanging on me. Um, all I really have is a screw with a washer holding this in, so I really don't feel like this is really intended to help you stand up that many times, or at least not for a long time. It just looks kind of cheap. All right, so while we're over here in this short little area, I've got three things I want to talk to you about. Uh, the first being your footrest. You have about 18 inches of adjustability here. Um, it's real easy to adjust. You just pull the bracket out and then you can just slide it up and down to where you would like it. And then just press it back in and it locks in. Pretty easy there. Uh, you have this little track mount, one on each side. Uh, you could put a fish finder, your transducer, or maybe even a rod holder here if you'd like. And then you have this, these two little bumps here. They're mimicked on each side. They're actually so you could temporarily lay down your oar and not have to worry about it falling in the water. Uh, real, real nice for when you're trying to make a cast. Uh, it just gets it out of the way real quick and then you can get right back to fishing. Uh, the only negative about these foot pedals is when you're barefooted, they're really not all that comfortable. They have these really sharp edges. Uh, they kind of dig into your feet. So I really have them pushed a little further back than I typically would if I was wearing shoes because right now uh, I'm wearing flip-flops. Now we're down to the seat area. You have these two nice handles on each side. Uh, really good for gripping, especially if things get a little hairy. They're right here, easily accessible. You have a strap that goes across your, the bottom of your seat and attaches here to hold your seat down. The important thing about your seat is it has two sitting positions. This is the upper position, easier for fishing and that kind of thing, and, see, and seeing where you're casting and all that stuff. And then you have a lower position, more stable. Things get hairy, you can put it down to this position. Easier to paddle with as well. One other thing to note about the seat is that the back is adjustable. It's really easy to adjust. You just pull on these large handles here, pull and it brings the seat forward. Or you can set it back a little bit, just feeding it back. And there you go, you can lean it back. I personally find this seat really comfortable. I've sat in it for several hours at a time. I would say four to six. Really haven't sat in it longer than that, but I find it hard to sit in one spot for longer than that anyways, even in a movie theater or my own couch. Well, now we're here in the seat. Imagine me here paddling, having a good time. Well, I really need to put my oar up for a little bit and get it out of the way. So we're gonna put it right here. We got this little nice little handy strap. Boom, oar's out of the way. I can fool with whatever I need to and not really have to deal with the oar or worry about it floating away. Okay, so here's something I really don't get about the design of this kayak. So I'm here fishing. You know, throwing out, okay, I'm the oar right here in front of me. It's out of the way. All right, well, now it's time to start paddling again, or I'm in a bad position, and I just need to move. So I put my rod in the rod holder, 
and then I grab my oar, I really can't paddle with the rod here. I have to sit it in front of me in the floor of the kayak in order to really actually have room to do all my paddling. So these front rod holders, unless you're just dealing with a fish or really need to tie on or retie or something, these front rod holders are really not useful. So this kayak also has back rod holders, which is actually pretty convenient for storing your rods. The only thing that I've noticed is that when you get near trees and brush, sometimes your rods will get hung up in those, so you just have to really pay attention to where the back of your kayak is, so you don't really get your rods hung up or even worse, lost. So now we're at the, the storage end of the kayak. You have these awesome bungee little straps here to put your, your fishing crate, or just a normal milk crate back here. Since I don't really do a whole lot of kayak fishing, all I have is really my tackle bag, and this is really where it stays. If I need to get to it, sometimes I'll land the boat just so I'm sure that I don't tip the boat over. But for the most part, this kayak is stable enough for me to, to turn around back here and grab my fishing tackle and turn back around. So we're out here on the water. Uh, I'm just doing a little paddling real quick. So while I'm paddling, I'm just gonna give you my pros and cons. So the three pros I have for this kayak are one is the front storage is massive. You can put tackle in there for days. The second pro is this seat is extremely comfortable. I've sat in it for several, several hours and not really had any back pain of any kind. And the third pro is that this thing is extremely easy to use. For a beginner like myself, this guy, this, this kayak here is perfect size for me to handle and it stores really easy in my house. The three cons are these front rod holders are virtually useless. You really can't use them to store your rods. I'm sure you guys can see that I have two sitting in front of me. I only can store two behind me. So without really a, a kayak crate of some kind, you really can't store that many rods or have that many setups ready. So I'm, I spend a lot of my time retying new stuff on. The other con is this boat really is, or this kayak is really blown around pretty easily. Even on light, light wind days, uh, the wind does shift you around a lot. So you, I do find myself correcting my position a lot. That, or I just accept the, uh, the shots that the wind gives me. So being blown around is not really my forte. I really like my boat instead because it doesn't do this as much. And the last con is there's not really a tool a tool holder right here in front of me. There's one in the seat and I, and I put my pliers here, but I find it often poking me in the legs and I really don't find that all that pleasurable. So just don't really, really have a good tool holder. I leave it there until like the first time I use it. And then after that, it's strewn somewhere. All right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed my kayak review of this Pelican Catch 100. But until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.